morning, Julianne here, and this is Mellonville, coming to you from Southeast Saskatchewan, Zone 3B. This is not, most definitely not, a how-to sort of vlog. Just a, what am I up to? How am I managing in Saskatchewan's interesting gardening conditions? Come see what we're up to. I'm not going to say that was the easiest way to do it. I think I need to watch a few more videos and find out how better to launch the ship. So there's still a lot of chores I haven't finished with. I haven't finished uncovering the roses and the rest of the perennial garden. I'm trying to do a little bit each day so it's not so tiring or boring. But I have brought out some tomatoes that are in the hoop house now getting hardened off I brought out all of the petunias Let's see if I can show them to you they're very beautiful looking I think they're lovely they're just doing great I've got some lettuce starts they'll get a little bit bigger before I put them outside I started another eaves trough of peas because I'm a glutton for punishment and hey practice makes perfect Everything else is finally zooming along in the hoop house. But I got something to show you outside. I added another raised bed. You can tell I'm making it out of scavenged lumber. Look at the curve. <laughs> that's a piece of wood that's been around for a while. I know it's not very tall. It's only a, a six inch bed, but I only put onions in there and they don't have such deep roots. I'll build it up next year, probably. But here's what I needed to show you. Oh yeah, wait a second. Started some carrots. They are, there's two rows under here and I've read that if you put a board over top of the carrots, it helps keep some of the moisture in and helps them germinate. They are stinkers for germinating, at least for me they always have been. But no, really, this is the thing I need to show you. What the hell is living in my onions? <laughs> it is a huge hole. And it's super deep. Oh well, we'll have to figure out what that is. They'll have to move somewhere else. Another pest. I put cabbage out flea beetles. Just devastated. So we'll pull it out. This is the bed where the corn goes anyways. So I will put down the mat and put the compost on top and while we're still a month away from planting corn at least I can get it ready.
This is a matte fabric that I've been using for, gosh, I bet 10 years. I got it from Lee Valley. I'll see if I can find the name. I'll put it in the description. And I have all the holes cut out where I plant the corn. And this really helps to keep the weeds down. So once I put the mat down, I like to cover it up with an inch or two of compost. Manure, if I don't have compost ready, is fine. It helps to keep the mat down in Saskatchewan winds, and I think it probably extends the life of the mat itself, which, if you're as frugal as me, is pretty important. And in the fall, when the corn is done, I take up the mat and I just leave the compost in place. Like I just sort of dump it in into the, the bed. And that way it's got some amendments for next year, ready to go. The corn is still a couple of weeks away from planting, so there really isn't a hurry. But since the cabbage was toast, I might as well put everything down in place. So it is finally starting to look like a garden. That's nice. At least this side is. This side, hmm, not so much. But that's where all the squash goes. It won't be out for another month. So I think we'll close it now. There might be a little more rain coming, which I shall appreciate. We'll see you again next week. Thanks for stopping by.